like so excited for summer like you don't even know I have my little Ariana hairstyle thing that I love and then I have it's called Island Margarita Candle from Bath and Body Works lid on my again it is so good it's just like a paradise up in this joint right here right now so excited for summer it's just like summer vibes coming at me bro <laughs> guys so today's video is going to be 10 things to do when you're bored over summer and for me personally I have five more days left until school is out while I'm recording this right now but when it's posted it is going to be my first Monday of summer break oh my gosh this is so exciting but today's video is just going to be 10 things to do when you're bored over summer because I know we get bored all the time and summer when you have the chance to sit in your house all day, you start getting bored, you know? So today, I hope this helps you guys out. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started with this video. And I'm so excited for some of it. Let's go. So the first thing that you can do is do some room DIYs. Because most likely your room is dull. And mine's like almost dull because I have like, as you can see, a black and white daggone comforter thing and then a gray blanket and yeah so I did a room DIY video and I will link that in the description but this is just a way to like kind of get some brightness and some color into your life and that video has uh, some really cool things that you guys should check out and yeah number two is master the splits I have been trying to do the splits for like probably a month two months now and I have like done this thing, I don't know really what it's called, I guess it's like a high kick type thing, but I'm basically trying to stretch out my legs to do the splits and I really want to master them within a week because when it's summer I want to be able to say, hey, I can do the splits, that's me right there, I'm, I'm doing them splits, yeah, but I uh, will see. Number three is do a fashion show and this I'm just like so excited to film this right now because this is me pre-talking and I'm going to do all the like little skit stuff in a second but oh my gosh I love dressing up and this is just a good way to get you guys to have some fun. This will give you some really cute ideas for outfits to wear over this summer if you're going anywhere like shopping or something. And yeah, and it's super fun and yeah, let's do a fashion show, baby. Number four, do a fitness routine. I know a lot of say, hey, I'm going to do a fitness routine and don't ever go through with it. But you know what? You need to do it. You need to do it because it is good for your health and it'll probably make you live longer. So try a fitness routine. So. Things I like to do is like run, jumping jacks, push ups, sit ups, just simple stuff like that. And just like put an amount that you like. do like for example my mother now does 30 sit-ups every single day so like set yourself a goal and then see how many you can do and then maybe by like the end of the month or something you can get to like 50 or something you know like try to set yourself some goals because that gives you something to look forward to number five is a pamper day and I love days like this oh my god these are like my favorite things to just sit down not do anything that day but stuff for yourself 
like paint your nails, um, like take a bath, take a bath, you know, a lot of us take showers, I take showers, and when you take baths, it's like so relaxing, you know, so I just like to use a face mask, and this is the chocolate covered strawberry face mask by Freeman, and I love this thing, and then I also like to use just some body wash and this is by NSPA and this is just a cranberry one and then I also like to use bath bombs and this is also a cranberry bath bomb by NSPA so it like matches the body wash and I definitely love matching all my scents together and it's just oh my god it's so amazing and then all of it focusing around you is like oh it is so amazing you need to try it if you've never done it it is, it is great. Number six is make up some jokes, okay? You can just be sitting around, make up some jokes, and then tell them to your family, whoever. Tell it to somebody or just amuse yourself and talk to yourself in a mirror. And, you know, it's pretty fun, you know? How did the cat catch the fish? It did it! It turned into a catfish! Did I get you? What did one beam say to the other beam? It's getting pretty stinky in here. What did the zebra do when it seen a tiger? All its stripes fell off. That this I'm not a good joke teller. I'm sorry about that. That really sucked. The reason why I put this in there is because I really wanted to learn how to tell a joke, so hmm. That's basically why it is in here. I guess I'm not getting too far with my jokes. <laughs> Number seven. Build a fort. I remember last year over summer me and my brother, which was, which was he? He was probably two. He was two at the time. But we used to take these blankets and build like a fort. And if I can find a picture, I will insert that now. Okay, so, I just like building forts. It makes you feel like a kid again, you know? You can just stack stuff up, put it on furniture, put pillows on it, just stack it up and take blankets and put them suckers all over the place and just have you some fun and sit in that fort. Even though it might be too small for your body, it is still fun to do. So, definitely recommend that. It makes you feel like a kid again and it's... You have a you have a real good time. Number eight, break a record. Just try to break a record. You know that is really something that you can go around telling everybody, like strangers, over summer. Like if you're walking down the street, you go and shop. Hey, I did this. I did it. You can do that if you break this record. So I definitely recommend trying to break a record. So the record I am going to try to break is, is taking sticky notes and putting them all over your face and seeing how many you can put on your face in one minute. And the record for that is 60, so let's see if I can do this. Whee! I bet I can't, but let's just try. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they're falling off! So I got five sticky notes on my face. I really think this is hard because when you have skin, your skin is usually oily and these do not stick or mine just aren't that sticky. Either one, but I, five, hey, I got five, oh. It's like 55 away from 60. I wasn't close at all, but at least I tried. Woo! Go Haley, go Haley, go Haley, Haley, Haley. If it wasn't for this video, I probably wouldn't have ever stuck posting those to my face. To my face. To do my face. To my face. To my face. To do to, to my face. Yeah. Now they don't even come off. Because you can like put yourself out there and go, 
I just broke a record. Oh my god. Yeah. And plus, it would be real fun for you to just, that's an accomplishment of your own. It's like, I, yeah, that's my thing. I just broke that record. You know, that would be super awesome. Number nine. Check out YouTube channels. For me personally, you can check out mine, which you're probably watching this video right now. But you should definitely check out my channel because I have a ton of videos. I really have a ton of videos. Some of them ain't that good, but lately I have been, like, you know, building it up and doing better content, trying to get the best quality out there that I can. So, you know, it's really awesome. And some YouTube channels that are my favorite that you guys should check out is Jack with the Angle. And her, like, you can type in Gummy Bears 3198 and that was her, like, what it was before she changed it to her actual name, which I really love her channel, that's, like, my favorite. Now, like, the Daily Bumps, and that's basically where a, it's, like, a family of vloggers, and they have a son, and the wife is pregnant right now. Oh, my God. So, I would definitely tell you guys that you should like watch some youtube videos because if all this fails you always have the internet and if you don't have the internet i guess you ain't gonna be watching this one right now okay and number 10 is get some sleep okay i know that during school you don't get hardly no sleep since summer is like the perfect time you can catch up on this so just sleep, but make sure you don't sleep too much because that is like bad for your health if you sleep too much. So just sleep at a proper amount of time and you'll be good, you know? Sleeping is bad. I will do it right now. Sleep. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this baby. Oh, ah! who else is excited for summer? Like I'm literally about to blow right now. I'm about to blow right now about to blow right now so make sure to comment down below do you guys get out for summer and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys oh that broke my back